Today I'm at Fields Pond Audubon Center, 229 acres of fields, forests, and wetlands in Holden and Orrington. Let's go head over to the picnic table over here and I will tell you some more facts about this property. So this preserve, which is owned and maintained by the main Audubon, is right down the road from my house. So I've been here a number of times. Dogs are not permitted. There's a nice trail network on this property with a few miles of trails and it's actually um, going to be expanding in the near future. So uh, keep an eye out for that. It is windy out, so let's go to the shelter of the frog pond nearby. Right over here. It's one of my favorite spots. So in addition to a trail network, there is a nature center on this property, which is a nice building where they do all sorts of public programs year round. There are some exhibits in there as well as some artwork and a store where you can get all sorts of nature themed things. That is all closed right now due to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, but the trails on this property are still open. And they do ask that, especially during this time, that if the parking lot is even close to being full, that you turn around and come back another time. Just sitting here at the frog pond for like a minute or so, I've come across uh, what I think is salamander eggs right underneath the water. There's a pair of song sparrows uh, to the side of me. A chickadee came to hang out, then a yellow rumped warbler came to sing a little bit. I've noticed this weird leaf here with something underneath it that seems to be moving on its, uh, kind of moving the leaf around. Oh, and there's something crawling on that branch there that looks similar. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. They're even down there, way down the bottom. All right, I need to stop looking into the water because I am never going to get anywhere on this preserve if I keep looking into the pond here because there's so many things. So let's go explore some more trails. <laughs> I'm going to do the marsh trail first and it creates a little loop and then I'll come back. That was a big squirrel. The marsh trail travels around a field that's right beside a marsh and it brings you to a nice overlook of that marshy area. I think this is where the name of the trail comes in, Fern Trail. There are ferns coming up everywhere here. Now I'm going to go up, moving away from the nature center and the road, and I'm going to do the ravine trail loop. The ravine trail features big, tall, white pine trees and hemlocks, which keeps the forest very shaded. Along the way, you can look down at the brook, which flows through the middle of the ravine, and eventually you cross that brook to get to the other side. So now the ravine loop has come to a close, and we're going to go check out the brook trail. The only rhyme or reason to my path is that I'm trying to hike as many of the trails as possible. Ooh, we found a stinking Benjamin! This is called a Trillium or Stinking Benjamin, and it's supposed to smell bad, but I've never actually tried, so let's give it a try. Yeah, it doesn't smell great, does it? It doesn't smell good. Why do we do these things? The Lakeshore Trail is narrow and travels along the edge of Fields Pond to a few different overlooks of the pond. This is a nice spot to just sit and enjoy the Fields Pond, which looks more like a lake. Um, it's 119 acres. Alright, I've made it to the end of the Lakeshore Trail, so now I'm going to backtrack back towards the center and check out some of the field trails, um, see if we can see any birds. It's pretty windy, so birds don't really like to fly when it's very windy because it just pushes them around, so we will see if we have any luck.
Thank you for joining me and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.